La 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 Shut up and sit down. Hey you skellywags. Today we're going to have a chilled one for the holidays. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas and all of that. Uh Happy Hanukkah, I think was one of them. And to Kwanzaa. help me, <laughs> what's that? Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa, whatever, whatever holiday you uh, celebrate. I uh, hope you're celebrating it with loved ones and friends or whatever. And here to help me with this, we've got uh, uh sorry, I'm Tough Commander. <laughs> Blah, blah, blah is a name he uses on the weekdays. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're going to get right into it, I suppose. But, yes, yeah, so how was your week, by the way? Oh, no, you told me about your week. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite stressful, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tough uh, was supposed to watch uh, Avatar in the week, but unfortunately uh, couldn't make it due to work. Yeah. <laughs> so, I gave it my two mates, but they gave me the money back anyway, so... Yeah. I mean, I would have taken them, but, um, yeah, we were too busy here. We were supposed to watch it as, as well at some point, but were unable to do to other commitments so here is a collection of things that i'm currently kind of working on or playing at playing with just open this guy the other other hammer guy not hammer guy the other gray knights dude yes. did a video of very awesome figure he is uh, although similar um different in ways i was uh, not expecting like he's a lot more solid like his his joints and stuff sturdier this mask is different as well which i really like yes is that because of some more heavier build yeah but the the other one is like i think it's got a bit more on him that kind of makes him a bit more wobbly but yeah. he's a lot a lot sturdier yeah right? he's like a rock mate yeah but look at him man it's awesome yeah awesome figures these ones um this one i've been holding on to for a while but is uh i thought to be honest i thought it'd be a lot better than he is. He's still good, but like the joints, you kind of really have to work at to uh, to make it work. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but he looks awesome. It's a lot smaller than I thought he'd be, though. You know the Dark Troopers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Too, yeah, of course. Yeah. So I thought, oh, when when they announced like a figure of that, you thought it's going to be huge, but it's like no. <laughs> well, <laughs> right. well, actually, I was thinking that I'd, I'd, he'd be the best figure from like Hasbro this year for the TVC collection. Didn't quite work out that way, no. in my estimation. Um, this guy. I'm actually doing a video of now. So I was, yeah, I've got to film like the comparisons and stuff and final thoughts, but this guy is really good. 112 scale, but works really well in 118. Yeah, you can Le see. Leonardo has never looked cooler. Not Leonardo. His name is Spring. <laughs> <laughs> According to the crappy box art. Uh, Spring, sorry. And uh, yeah, this guy uh, from the Tau Empire um, opened up one of them, but there's four in the box. Yes. Really awesome little figure there. Like it could could like work in could work with this guy. Yeah. This guy could be part of the town. Like he's a uh, you know alien, but like or whatever. You know, you, you probably know more about than I do. <laughs> I haven't actually looked too much into the town. Oh, okay, I know a little bit. Like I've looked at other aspects, like the Horus Heresy, the Orcs, mm. um, <clears throat> uh, uh, further aspects of the Imperial Man and the history behind that, about the state of where they are now. Right. But yeah, in terms of the town, I haven't got that far because okay. right now I'm just looking at the um. The rubber clicking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I forget their name. We'll put them up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Once you remember. But yeah, I mean, there's tons of stuff. So uh, yeah, of course, you know, it's going to be difficult to, to go for everything. And this guy is a um, really awesome figure. Awesome action toys. Saw his uh, review and was like, oh, I'm going to check him out. And whew, yeah, really good. Um, so yeah. these will be upcoming. What are you going to say? I was going to say it looks a bit more like um, Gundam meets Final Fantasy VII. Kind of, yeah. I mean, yeah, especially like this this Buster Sword. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, uh, before we get on to the rest, so the stuff I'm going to be opening up, I think all of it bar one, although the the one that isn't from there, you can pre-order currently on BBTS. Woo! Go check them out now. For your one-stop shop for collectibles, imports, and all sorts, you'll find in-stock items and pre-orders for all upcoming toys in this vid. Visit Big Bad Toy Store. Be sure to use the link in the description to support the channel. There we go. So let's start with the first. So we'll start with this one, which is available on BBTS to pre-order. 
um i'll be like i've got this elsewhere but yeah you can you can order it from there because it was released in, in the uk before the us spiral um i don't really collect one twelfth figures but i i do sometimes and this was one i think that would work well with like warhammer stuff or other like kind of like a giant you know yeah character with with limbs <laughs> with yeah, extra limbs a giant amazonian <laughs> mutant right what's the best way to open this thing up without kind of i don't know if i want to keep the i, I like it it looks really nice in this well, but you, usually what i use is i use a knife and just yeah. cut around it okay go cool, cool you want to with your experience here you go shall i hand you the the yeah cool go for it i'm a surgeon it's... So have you got any experience with Spiral to know who Spiral is, what she's from, and set from? I mean, obviously, Uncanny X-Men, it says there. Hey, let me try to guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Tell me more about Spiral, please. To be honest, I'm not, like, too... I don't know too much about her either. I just, I just like, I think I, I've uh, seen... Uh, she was in, like, the animated movie, animated, animated uh, series, sorry. Oh, the 90s one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then also the comics, but, yeah... I, a long time ago I mean, an old if, man now to be fair she does look like she'd be from the animated series too she's just like in terms of her style right now she has that sort of simplistic sort of 90s edge about her yeah definitely I I suppose suppose it really kicks it off so much so it's just the robotic arm she has there yeah yeah that's, that's proper like 90s like I think the cable and then I yeah that robotic arm which is now popularized by bloody Bucky from the MCU yeah no Come back, Dark Trooper. Don't fall on your face. So Avatar's doing well at the cinemas at the moment. Yeah, nearly 700 <laughs> million. Not too shabby. I mean, obviously we get past that. I think it will reach a billion. Wait, did you catch all that? What's that? Did you catch all that on camera? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, cool, I was gonna say. We need, we need to get the right camera angle. We need to Stanley Kubrick this. Here you go. <laughs> there we go. Actually, a spiral. Alright, nice one. Ooh, you've got two layers. Yeah. Of course, for the weapons. Let's get it out. All right. Cool. Um, get her out first. She's got extra hands there. Cool. Got straight away. I mean, I've got a couple Marvel Legends. The ones, or a couple that you've given me, actually, yes. as well. Um, but look. Aha. Uh -huh. Awesome. This may be. I mean, I'm not a you know huge fan, but it could be one of their finest works mm. i mean if, if all of this a bit gummy but all of these are articulated limbs it's crazy I'm sure they did like a spider-man one that wasn't that good which one you know the um the extra limbed spider-man where he's got like oh. extra arms <laughs> yeah wait like actual spider-man or like um... actual spider-man yeah but okay. he's got extra limbs not the, the uh the villain yeah that weird whatever it is i can't remember Cosmonaut Man. <laughs> Whatever it was. Excalibur. So this is um, one that I think I'm going to have to like work at and not try and bend all the limbs right now because it's one of those ones that could break. Can I show what that is? This is an axe. I'm not feeling this axe. Nah, it looks a bit plain, doesn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. The sword, there's like four of these. Katana. Can I look, uh, katana. I'm loving this sword, though. Yeah, that looks alright. Yeah. The gold is a bit, it's a bit really rubbery it's though. Really rubbery. Kind of... Yeah, I noticed that. The thing I would say about it is like, maybe they could have worked on the colour scheme for it a bit more. Yeah. With oh, this yeah especially one. this thing. This thing is just terrible. Yeah, yeah, terrible. it's just like one plain colour. It's like this one. The brown helps it stand out a bit more, but it's like, I would reckon like around the hill, around here, probably mm. distinguish this a bit more. Maybe put a blue gem here or something else. You know, what I mean? yeah. distinguish it all a bit better. Good thing about it is that you could do like quite a simple custom and, you know, paint it. The, that that yourself really make it you know just give it that bit of a oomph yeah of course you can yeah but yeah awesome awesome thank you for another look yeah cool so inside the box oh my god the articulation is fantastic already yeah and i think it's like pinless as well really? no no pins for the joints right so you got four swords in there these katana sorry and then this Somebody... sword some of the arms are a bit stiff, though. I think. Yeah, again, I think it's one that you're gonna have to, I'm going to have to, like, work out properly, like, on it on a camera, because it's, like, probably prone to breaking breakage. Yeah. I mean, this wrist is pretty good, though. Potentially. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Go work right. out that wrist arm. All right. Let's put these to the side. But yeah, cool. So, go. Let's see her against this Grey Knight. 
Yeah. Yeah. Or even against Leonardo on 12 scale. See, look how tiny he is. Yeah. With this head particularly, it looks, looks really in line with the 118. Yeah. I think that's purposely done. Yeah, it should be awesome in that kind of thing. Right, cool. Next. Booyah! Last Ronin. So from, uh, have you read the story or do you know what happens? I know what happens. I haven't read the story though. Okay, I know what happens too. I've already yeah, either, you, got to spoil it. Yeah, I know. Because I'm not invested in we, the Turtles or whatever. We spoiled it for ourselves. There's a story that we weren't invested in. How <laughs> yeah. could we? So in the story, all the Turtles are, are dead, bar one. This guy here, we won't spoil who it is, uh, but he remains and he's got all of their weapons. And this is the uh, PX exclusive version, which I believe as of right now is still available through BBTS. So maybe in short supply. But this looks like the, um, the Playmates one. Remember, the, uh, Arctic got the um, yes. one we opened up, the original ones, and it's kind of in line with that, and will actually probably work well with this guy. But we'll open up. Yes. Uh, this guy normally comes with a samurai head, which I think will look better with, with this yeah. design. Um, where's that knife at? Go ahead. Is it anything to cut it open? Oh, yeah, the, 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 the. So, Zing Yeah. Right. Easy. Right here. Right here. There we go. Yeah, try and if you can. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's no like grippage with yeah. these gloves. Oh, really. I got it. Oh yeah, so there is a uh, some backstory there, so I'll just hold it there so you can pause it and read it if you want. Spoil it for yourselves. Yeah. If you want. If you're not invested, you can or you can just read it if you want. Yeah. Or, you know, that, just know. get the comic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Support, support your your local comics shop or um, Amazon. You know, well, yeah, or digital, whatever it is. Yeah, do that. Or you can get the audio book. Yeah, listen to it. Yeah, it's <laughs> a big thing these days. Yeah. Well, I haven't listened to a few audio books myself too. <laughs> <laughs> you can multitask. How many have you got through? I actually, yeah, I've gone through about three of them. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm getting quite a few of them as well. Like the one I'm going back on, because mm. uh, oh. I heard it. Listen to it years ago, the Chip Paradox. The Chip Paradox, what's that? Yeah, the Chimp Paradox is basically... Oh, Chimp Paradox. About, yeah. It's basically about, like, the way this guy sort of breaks it down, sort of like the modes of, like, how your brain functions and everything, mm. and also will be more in control of that. So it's like your emotional aspect is the chimp. Right. Um, and your more rational aspect is the computer. And it sort of breaks it down like that. It's pretty good. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, so if anyone's interested in, like, trying to learn a bit more, like, self-control or anything, that's... That's like a tough command that you recommend. Nice. That is my gift. So, what's it called again? The Chimp Paradox. Chimp Paradox. Yeah. Do you know who? No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't need to know who it is, I just need to know the words. Yeah. Well, it's really difficult to get out of a, a, a box that I only found out recently about because I've got a daughter now. Yeah. From Barbies. Really? Barbies are ridiculous to get out. I thought they'd be easier to get out. I know, it's not. And they've even got like these little things in 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 their hair. These little bit they've got these little bits in in the hair as well. Why? Just stupid. Oh yeah, have you seen the Barbie trees teaser? Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Margot Robbie. I mean, I'm thinking it's it's like they're going to have a different take on it, obviously. So it's not like yeah. you're because the director is um she's done some some good stuff before. Um, I don't know what movies it was or what her name is Gre Gret or something. But yeah, I think they're, 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 they're going to have a, a certain tape on it. Yeah. So it might be worth watching. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I've got an excuse anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being a 40-year-old man just watching Barbie in the middle of the cinema. I was like, yeah, this is, yeah, this is my stuff. So. Who are you? Who it's are my you? jam right here. <laughs> You're just sitting right next to him, like, feeling a bit uncomfortable, like, oh, okay, mate. Even just buying the ticket, just one for Barbie, please. Yeah, it's like, you look at it, like, there's no little girl, and you don't look like someone who reviews movies for a living. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Actually, that could be anyone these days, right? Anyone look like a, or at least a, 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 a YouTuber. Oh, <laughs> a YouTuber. Yeah, I know. That's the point, actually. <laughs> <laughs> What are you trying to see right there, Mike? Uh, go check out uh, Tough Commander on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that Peacemaker video is coming out soon. <laughs> when it's set before the second season drops, 
or after the second season drops <laughs> after the premiere no after, after it ends <laughs> <laughs> two years after it ends <laughs> I mean they don't know when they're going to do that do they no I mean James Gunn's going to be very busy so yeah I know <laughs> <laughs> speaking of James Gunn uh, that, that, that transitions into uh, what do you think now of like what he's uh, obviously we've, we've touched on it and, and stuff but you know generally what are your thoughts on uh, on him taking over yeah because you know that I'm a bit of a fan of his Oh yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, who isn't? But you know, I know you, 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 spe- you specifically yeah, like yeah. his, uh, his, uh, yeah, it, it, Suicide Squad in particular. Yes, I love the Suicide Squad. Uh, what do you think of his whole uh, taking over the DC universe? DC, stuff? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not the DC. Get me closer to this. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah, it's no longer the DC EU. The DC EU. Yeah. Um, personally, I'm sort of like not in two minds, but I'm somewhere in the middle of it. It's like I've I've never seen James Gunn take this position before. But then again, if they thought he didn't know what he was doing they would probably wouldn't have given him the job well if you think about it <clears throat> before he moved over and yeah. before the whole debacle with disney getting fired rehired etc yeah he was set to kind of help with uh um kevin feige from what i remember that's true and was gonna you know with i think phase four or whatever phase he was gonna help out with was yeah. was gonna lean more towards the galactic kind of stuff which Again, if Kevin Feige was touting him as the next guy to to help him with that stuff, then yeah. it only makes sense, I guess, that he can help out with the DC. Yeah. Well, obviously, like once that little controversy of him sort of broke out, Disney got a bit weak in the knees, and DC just went, "Hey, do you want to work for us?" Yeah, cool. Yeah, I mean, everyone was after him after that, right? Yeah, you know. The thing is, though, from what I heard, Kevin Feige didn't even know about it. It was just like Alan Horn just on the whims, you yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> like you're fired <laughs> openly. Yeah, just doing in front that. of the internet. So we won't go through all of his um stuff because i'll probably do a video separately of this because there's a ton of stuff yeah, in, like, yeah, and yeah. obviously don't spend too much time in no. but he looks awesome like for, for a figure that's you know supposed to be along those lines of the the, the original playmates one they've done a, a good job well, i mean obviously he's not as detailed as this guy it's no no, no it's a sharp um, contrast but it's yeah i mean the samurai head i think would work better with the size of his head yeah which is this one here i think that works better with yeah. it because this head's a bit small but otherwise, good job. Yes. Unfortunately, you can't use these glasses on him as well, which I would have liked. Ah. And articulation's a bit, yeah, limited. As, uh, but still, they're awesome. not as limited as the figure. original ones. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at least, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those are bad. <laughs> at least we got these. One thing I do like is probably like the little bit of multicolored look on his face, or it might just be light, but it's like there's some spots that are a bit darker. No, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's got uh, like more sort of te- texture to it. We're yeah. doing better lighting for this. And yeah, you can tell it's not just the plain green. It's got like these darker shades. And yeah, like there's a wash over it or something. It's not like with the uh, Mighty Morphin Turtles. Mighty Morphin Turtles. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got Mighty Morphin. T- oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of cartoonish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones I showed you. <laughs> yeah, the one, the one. Yeah, the ones we got to put on the channel. Actually, I was gonna put it in the video with this guy. There's the shredder, anyway. Yeah. So, this is the next one. Boom! Robocop 2. Kane. Kane. Kane, let's step outside. Right, let's crack him open. This from... I've, I've heard he's a really, really good figure. Um, who was it? Someone on uh, on the comments mentioned um, how um, like he's probably the best figure this year, for them, anyway. So... Uh, let's see. He looks I mean, from the from the images and stuff. He looks awesome. But I tried to crack it, but it's not like an egg. No, no. Ooh. And just to go with Kane, we've got here Mando Cop, and um, what's his name again? Timmy. No, like tiny. Tiny, Timmy. tiny Timmy cop or something. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, these guys are supposed to be appearing in another box. Mm-hmm. Boxy. Yeah. <laughs> you should do this. Here, audience, smell the inside of the box. There you go. I do like smelling my toys though. No, you know what is good? That fresh box smell. Mm. Fresh. No, nothing like the fresh smell of a toy. Mmm. Well, this one doesn't have too much of a smell. What is going on with all these wires, though? Oh, man. That's proper detail, doesn't it? I'm seeing. 
you can ask. He's the second person to survive the Robocop awesome. initiative, probably. And the articulation is just going to be like, I suppose, like he would be. All these wires and stuff as well, which is really yeah, cool. incredible. Yeah, they really like well, wow. Look, think, he's even got the, the extra oh, bits. Yeah, yeah, awesome. <gasps> I think this was the last movie as well that did proper stop motion animation. Yeah, probably one of the last anyway. Yes, and strangely enough, it really worked for the mechanical... Yeah. And also to yeah. make him look really terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> it, for some reason, it just worked. Um, but this is really good. Probably because you, you've got you've got some Heia toys, right? Yeah. Predators and stuff. I think mean, they're right, but like okay, they're a bit. Yeah, yeah. I was going to do videos actually comparing the two of them. Yeah. Um, got my backlog of videos. But this, I mean, I might be speaking too soon, but maybe one of the best Heia like figures you can get at the moment, just from a, a look at. Coloring's fantastic as well. I mean, I say coloring, you know what I mean? Like, sort of the shading, the texture. Look at the little scrap detail right there. The little scratches and everything. Just the the articulation. Fantastic. Against Mando Cop. Oh, yeah, so Mando Cop and this guy are supposed to be appearing in a, a, a holiday special we're doing. Um, <laughs> but we couldn't get it out before Christmas. So this, Yeah, it goes back. There we go. What well, does? It goes back. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah look at that. Articulation. Do you want? Oh, wait, do you see that? Look at the arm. Yeah, ratchet joints. Yeah, it's fantastic. His head moves. So this one I might do a separate video of as well with how, Does the... how good he is. Right, the cannon doesn't turn around, but probably just... Yeah, so the cannon stays still. Don't snap it or anything. Wait, does this open up? Nah, no, unfortunately not. not. <coughs> Bit too small. Would be good if it did. Even these bits here. So good. Even better if the head opened up. Could you imagine yeah, that? Yeah, <laughs> they've actually got a version of it with the, the, the face head. open. Yeah. I just think it's just, yeah, I mean, obviously, they would need to be, make a bit of money. They could add it as, 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 as an extra thing in the box yeah. already. But it'd be one of those probably more difficult than you think it was. It's like, have you ever seen Hellraiser? Yeah, a long time ago. Well, there's a more recent one as well, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. But the Lament configuration, which mm. is the name of the box in case you didn't know, because mm. you're a normie, <laughs> is basically like the box because it goes in different shapes and sizes or whatever. It's like... Mm. They basically they just had one box. They did one thing at a time, so it's like you couldn't get one box to like turn or split open or anything like that. It was just different ones all the time. Right. Okay. Yeah. So that's it's got no relevance here. <laughs> no, I, I just, get what you mean. So the, the way they had to do it, yeah. Yeah. Well, so like with this, you know, obviously if they opened up, they would they would have a me need a mechanic really yeah. to, to do that, and that would probably bump the price up. But this, I didn't realize had all these little wires as well. That just. Yeah. But I think part of their saving grace is that most of it was special effects. What, for, um... For this. In the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Movie, yeah. You know I mean? That helped them so much. Yeah, and strangely course. enough, the, um... The computer face on the monitor... Mm. It's archaic, but it works in its favour as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a product of its time now. Yeah. <laughs> when you see it, you're like, oh, God, graphics are bad. <laughs> So this guy, we've got the small guy, we've got this guy. We'll do. I'll probably. I wanted to do a comparison video of the two. Um. Yeah. Let's uh. Do that. Open him up. Very good. You can do you because you you're you're more of a um black series collector, aren't you? You've got a few more of these than I do. Right. Yes. So yeah, go ahead. You can what open Monsieur up. Yes. I've got two coming along as well, actually. What's who you got? Uh, two black series figures come along. Oh, coming out what, uh, uh, on the way to you? Yeah. Which ones are they? Uh, Vader and Obi Wan Genomi. Obi Wan Genomi. <laughs> oh, the the latest one. Yeah. From the uh, okay, yeah, yeah. I've got the uh, TVC versions of those. Yeah. And after those will be Darth Malak, Bastard Shan, and then maybe Luke Skywalker. Mostly, mostly because like. Variety and they have capes and one the capes. Also, called Kotor, one and two are, are wicked games. I'm not a big fan of Star Wars, but those are the games I look at and go, yeah, these are awesome. I like these. This is fun. <laughs> Can we have a third one, please? No. Okay. I don't know why. Why aren't they doing another one? Then uh, I think the because they're doing a remake. Yeah. Oh, didn't they? Um do one on the switch well it's the same thing basically but uh, they did one on pc it was um 
You over played it? I think it was, but I didn't play that. Huh? No. I mean, like, in those games, the second one, you see Freya, and she's like the most interesting character in there. She, just, she talks about the Force, and it's like, look, it's not good or bad, it's just people putting labels on things. Mm. You know? It looks awesome. Yeah. Wanna have a look? Oh, fingerprint magnet, I think, though. No? Will be. You're shrugging. Oh. So, mate, how do you feel? I don't know. <laughs> it definitely have the, the uh, TVC version, does that? Somewhere. See you, yeah? See you, little un. See you? What do you mean, Daddy? I didn't do anything wrong. I know you didn't. I was just playing with my mates. Well, don't do it. Don't be doing that. Okay. We've we got an empire to be building. But it was him, Ando Cop, and little Timmy over there. Did you cop? Wait. You died in the last season. What are you doing back here? Who do you think you is, mate? One thing um, he's got that um, he doesn't have is that he's got this little bit at the back. Yeah. Where the light can go through and shine through, which is quite a nice look. Oh, See, oh, this is still pretty cool. Yeah, you don't need that. You can just put like special effects over the eyes. Yeah, true. It depends. Are we going to be doing that or we'll just leave it? Huh? Putting special effects in or are we going to leave it? Well, right now. I mean, over the eyes. Nah, I mean, it looks good as is, to be honest. Yeah, it's bright. Just this, I suppose, when you're playing with it, you'd be like, oh, look at that. Ooh. See? It, it pays hard. Go to school, and you'll be as bright as me. Bright <laughs> eyes. That's what they call me. Bright eyes. Yeah, so as it's Christmas, um, yeah, that's yours if you like. We've just got to bring them. You know, when I want to do that video, we could, well, we could do a video together, actually. That might be a good collab oh, this of, like, do, doing a video of, like, a comparison of these two. Or I was thinking, like... Um, because I've got a, a boba, the, the smaller bobas and the, the the black series boba, just doing a you know kind of comparisons of the, of the two mm. versions, black series and and TVC. Oh. So yeah, I got a white boba. Oh, and you've got the 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 what's it called? Things coming as well, right? Um, Obi and Darth, and Darth Vader. So we could do comparisons of those two. Yeah, we can do. If you want. Nice, but yeah, Merry Christmas. Thank <laughs> you very much. This is very lovely. <laughs> I was going to give you one of these small ones, but that's more appropriate yeah, that's, for you. I that's think. a bit patronising, actually. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> What are you talking about? I love you, son. Give me a hug. <laughs> oh, thank you, Daddy. All right, and then we got uh, one last thing to open. Oh yes, mm. something from uh, me wife, Mrs. Skelly. Yes. So this is for Christmas. Penguins. There we go. Just because. I like penguins. Christmas penguins are the best. Yeah. Yeah, so with um with all this stuff going on with the DC and all of that, um, it's just funny seeing how everyone's well, not everyone, but a load of people are so uh, upset. Well, a small minority. Oh, I suppose to a large minority. <laughs> well maybe a small vocal minority. Yeah, but I mean, that's how it always is. James Gunn's dealt with that before, and I think I told you about that. Some people got, like, 1.5 people said they got... 1.5 people? Yeah. Said they got... <laughs> One and a half. People. Yeah. <laughs> million people <laughs> said they got, oh, hashtag fire James Gunn trading. It's like, if you look at it, it's like just people spamming it over and over and over again. It's like the same people. So it's like, nah, yeah. more like less than 9,000. That's not a meme. Don't put that Vegeta thing in there. <laughs> Oh no, there's another <laughs> thing to open. That's alright, I like that. It's like an onion. <laughs> Onions are good. Oh, that's nice. It's a little bit of There you go. It's Thank like you. A, a a bound book. But like a, you know. Grimoire. Like grimoire. With all kind of pages that have been stained with tea or something. Coffee. Make it look old. That looks like a duck. Ah. See his closed <laughs> eye? You can go through every page now and like see if you can, you know, Deek. see if you can see other pictures and stuff inside these yeah. images. They do actually look like they could form yeah. something. Yeah. So yeah, nice. There you go. Your own personalized uh, grimoire. grimoire. Thank you, you, Mr. Skelly. This is a beautiful gift. Write your um, my demented memoirs. little thoughts. Yeah. Your sp your spells. <laughs> <laughs> I need to learn how to spell first. <laughs> yes. 
All right, there we go. So that's a, a nice little uh, vid, relaxed vid there for the holidays. A wholesome vid. For your Christmas, Hanukkah, whatever it was, the other ones. Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa and all that other stuff too. So uh, loads of other things come in on the channel. We do have, um, hopefully, a happy uh, holiday special <laughs> coming that we're working on, um, which was supposed to be for Christmas, but unfortunately not uh, ready. Um, and also I'll have other stuff coming up. I'm working on the, the this guy hiding spring, which hopefully I'll have that video out soon next week, some point. And then, yeah, let me know if there's which, whichever ones you want to see next. Um, otherwise, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Go check out Tough Commander on uh, YouTube's and Instagram. I have the links in the description. Tough, want to say anything before we head off? We love you all. Happy holidays, everyone. Skill will scale you later, and happy holidays. <laughs> <laughs>